Luffy or Doflamingo? Who is stronger? So ever since the fight with Doflamingo, a lot of One Piece fans had debated who would win in a one-on-one -on -one fight, Luffy or Doflamingo. Some people will, in my opinion, overhyping Gear 4, say Luffy could beat Doflamingo in a one-on-one -on -one fight if he won Gear 4 right off the bat, where I disagree. Okay, if you look at the fight between Luffy and Doflamingo, he had Law there. Up until Gear 4, Luffy would not have survived without Law. And if you ask anybody prior to him getting Gear 4, if they could beat him in a one-on-one -on -one fight, they would laugh in your face and say, what? No, he wouldn't. He would just, he, Doflamingo would tear Luffy to pieces. That's what he'd been doing. That's what people need to understand. Doflamingo has been kicking Luffy's ass when they fight. Well, not have been, when they fought. I'm still not out of the dress rosa mindset, and I just finished watching the episode like a day ago. The point is, is that Luffy and Doflamingo, during that fight, it was Doflamingo, he took on Law and Luffy at once. Now, look at this, relatively speaking. He beat Lu Law relatively easily, but Law landed some key shots on him. Law landed Gamma Knife, Law landed Ra Raggio Knife. You know, the Raggio Knife, I don't know what it's called. But he landed a lot of epic attacks. He did a lot. He also got in a couple good shots in general on him. This is a big deal because without Law, Luffy would not have won. And let me explain why. Because even if Luffy went gear 4 right off the bat, it still has a 5 minute time limit. And if you tell me for a minute, you think the Flamingo would not be able to keep on fighting after those 5 minutes, if it was just him and Luffy in a while, but you're, you're insane. When Luffy fought Law, I mean a lot, when Luffy fought the Flamingo in Gear 4, I can almost guarantee you, I can guarantee you the Flamingo with at about 50% power. So, I don't understand, it's impressive, don't get me wrong, but I don't understand how Luffy beating the Flamingo in Gear 4, at, at the level to the extent that he did, is a big deal when he's at 50%, or at least a big enough deal to say he doesn't need Law's help. Now, if, uh, if Luffy went Gear 4 right off the bat and Law backed him up, I think they would demolish Doflamingo. But Luffy is not individually strong enough to beat Doflamingo. Go reread the fight in the manga. Gear 4 is to be depicted him to be a little bit stronger in the anime. But if you read the manga, it is pretty clear that Doflamingo is also okay. I mean, he wobbled a little bit when he got up after the King Kong. He wobbled a little bit, but he got up and he was like, Okay, bitch, time for my awakening. He was like, okay, you hit, you hit me with, like, what? The thigh King Kong on that, I think, the thigh the King Kong on Kong on the strongest attack. He hit the Flamingo with it, and the was like, okay, I'm fine, I'm jolly good, I'm all good. Like, are you okay, my god? Let's go, boy. He was up, he was moving, he was ready to fight. And by the way, his glasses still were destroyed. So, yeah. But really, you really need to think about this, alright? If Luffy and Law together could barely put the Flamingo to around 50%, and then Luffy with Gear 4 still needed a shit ton of help to beat him. See, how would Luffy get to beat him in a one on one fight? Let's look over every person to help Luffy all together. He had all the Coliseum fighters, he had Gap, he had Dabo David Ash from Jesus Bergen, when I Technically counting as, you know, be as helping the Doflamingo fight because Jesus Burgess would have killed him and then what and because he was only in that state due to the Doflamingo fight. The reason he couldn't take out Burgess was because he was too weak to take out Doflamingo. So I'm counting Stabo, we're gonna count the Stabo's help. Because if it wasn't for Dabo, he could not stand at Doflamingo because Jesus would have killed him. Mainly, that's my main reason for including Stabo. So you he had a, he had Law's help, the Coliseum fighter. The gladiators, he had Dabo's help. I mean, this is fucking ridiculous. And you, Ted, you tell me again that Luffy could beat Doflamingo in a one on one fight. You're crazy. Even if he started off in full power, I just don't see it happening. Now, I want you to tell me whether or not you think Luffy could beat him in a one on one fight in the comments, or maybe you don't think he could beat him. Just tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. 
Follow me on Twitter, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Remember this video is just my opinion. I really just wanted to highlight that Luffy needed a lot of help in that fight. A lot of people don't seem to be able to wrap their mind around the fact that Luffy needed help. That Luffy could not have beaten Go Flamingo without help. But guys, you know, tell me your thoughts in the comment section. I already went over all that. So I have one last thing to say, and that's have a great day!